college are considering a career in STEM. Allie Wagner is live at the convention center with details on today's mm -hmm. XSTEM San Diego event. Hey, Allie. Hi, Allie. This is so neat. So you go room to room and every different room they've got a whole different company and they are showing you all about science and I have Maynard who is here the MC of events today good morning yes, good morning how's it going good I'm feeling so sciencey I've already learned so much <laughs> I was just in the forensics room from the mm -hmm. San Diego Sheriff's next door yes, that's gonna be amazing and, and then we were with the Air Force I mean this is so neat for the middle and high school students who are coming today yes this is gonna be absolutely incredible we're just talking about hands-on education right and hands-on learning this is so amazing because they get to see not only these cool scientific elements, but the application of it, how it's utilized in the real world. And best of all, they get to learn from actual scientists that are here today. Yeah, and I think this is neat because there's so many San Diego-based companies that are here. I think that that's mm -hmm. really cool. But it just shows that there's an option for all of these kids that maybe they didn't understand that science was involved in some of these careers. Yes, and a lot of these students throughout the San Diego School District from Title I schools. And so they're having an opportunity to have access to resources that they may not have otherwise. And so this is an incredible opportunity to not only be able to talk to some of these scientists that are here today, but get engaged in hands-on elements. We've got General Atomics here that's going to be doing some amazing demonstrations as well. And they get to listen to molecular biologists, oceanographers, uh, cybersecurity experts as well, too. And it's all sponsored by the Space Force and U.S. Air Force. So, I mean, this is just a hub of scientific knowledge right here, and I'm thrilled. Yeah, this is so neat. And I'm going to come over. I've got Rick Lee, who is here from General Atomics. And so tell me a little bit about what you guys are talking to the kids about today. Yeah, so in our work at General Atomics, we do nuclear fusion science for the Department of Energy. We operate the nation's largest tokamak, which is a magnetically confining plasma device. And with that, we have a lot of electromagnetic coils. So the concept of making an electromagnetic coil, that is wrapping a wire around some uh, metal, is a very fundamental thing that we want to do. And so today we will be making coils. The kids will be making simple solenoidal coils for themselves and they'll be able to take them home. So that's kind of cool. So you're kind of making it as simple as you possibly can, but then you've got Alex over here. What's he, what's he yeah. he's got it on a so, grander scale. So Alex has got some other uh, coils that we've made before and these are kind of fun coils. This is a wrap, uh, about a foot diameter wrapped coil and it'll actually levitate. Wow. So one can bring in the concepts in physics and engineering. And, and it'll pick up everything else too, right <laughs> it, Alex? It will, if you're not careful. Right. So these are these are part of a uh, teacher workshop that we had teachers make these some time ago, wow. and uh, and they're fun and they're surprising for the kids because they see levitation, and and what one can might be able to do with that. That's cool. Look at you, look hopping coil. See, it's a dancing coil. Yes, yeah. Now, and I think this is fun because you're getting to talk to students and give them an idea of how they can apply the science that they learn today. That's right. Uh, this kind of fundamental physics and engineering is found everywhere, in motors, in, well, even in a little noisy cat device, that like Alex calls it there. Wow. Your cat toy, yeah. And I think that it's just fun to get to talk to them, and, right. and I'm sure they'll have lots of questions for you. Now, a little bit later, after each, uh, each of the, sh of the uh, workshops, we'll take this concept of a floating coil, turn it upside down so that the coil is underneath, and the... Mag the aluminum plate is on top and will actually launch an aluminum can. It'll probably hit the ceiling in here. Don't tell the convention center. I won't let them know. And we'll also take a, uh, take a ring, raise it up, and cut open a uh, smash open, a uh, cucumber. So it'll be pretty interesting. Do you enjoy like talking to the kids? Is oh, this fun? We love it. We love interacting with the kids. I've got kids at home, grandkids at home, and we love doing this kind of stuff. Oh, this is so cool. So once again, this is kicking off here in about 10 minutes, and it's 2,000-plus kids that will be here. I'm going to sit down and keep working on my experiment over here. I think that this is so fun. What a great opportunity for them to see what jobs are out there and, and get to learn about science and technology. It's a great lead-in to my next guest because Burke Grossman is here. He 